Hi Scorpio, what's up? Welcome to your September reading. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for all of your love and your support. We're going to be seeing what messages need to come through for you guys. Get some insight, guidance, overall see what's going on, what you can expect throughout the month of September. See what is coming towards you and how you can work with this energy. If this reading is helpful or insightful, let me know by leaving a like, comment, and subscribe. If you'd like to book a private reading with me, the info is in the description box down below. Let's get into your reading, Scorpio, and let's see what your messages are for the month of September 2024. First card, we have the fish, water energy. Some of you could be dealing with the Pisces. We do actually have our lunar eclipse taking place in Pisces on the 17th, so that might be important. Wow, you got triple water. We have the swan and the frog. Could be a bit of a very emotional time for you stingray is also at the bottom more water okay so you're in your element this season even though we're an earthy grounded virgo vibes you're definitely feeling the feels you're riding the waves and with the fish as your first card out this is where you're needing to go with the flow as best as possible okay because it is showing that there might be like circumstances or situations that have nothing to maybe do with you but it's you're just you're kind of being pushed down the stream and some of y'all are resisting or some of you guys are putting up a fight and that can create a lot of frustration or annoyance you could be in september you might be feeling a little bit lost with your direction you might not be feeling this right now scorpio right we're still in august keep in mind um because sometimes i'll be getting these comments where like i don't this doesn't make sense it's like this is for september this reading was up last week of August, so what I'm saying at this moment may not make sense or might not resonate right now, so just keep that in mind. You might need to come back to this reading by the end of the month. Like, I would even recommend go back to like the first August reading that I did for your sign, and it might make more sense than maybe it did when you first listened to it, if you're a return subscriber. Um, just saying, because the timelines and how energy works, it's not always like gonna make sense right off the bat so just saying but yeah so the fish is kind of like an energy where you could be feeling like lost lost in the current um you might be kind of showing up a little inconsistent or you're kind of flippy floppy <laughs> one minute you're yes next minute you're no or you know you might be on the fence about something you're needing to reflect on this right there's something you're needing to reflect on scorpio this is asking you to sit still with yourself and just observe just observe the energy, just observe the feels, the thoughts, the flow, the rhythm, just observe it. Don't try to control it as best as possible. <laughs> just, I'm also feeling like there's something about like imagine, like you're needing to imagine, I don't know, the potential of something. We have the stingray, lion, hyena, hmm. Yeah, the tarot is going to help us identify what the hell is going on for you, like get to the more specific stuff. But with this one, this is a very creative energy. This is all about tapping into, you know, your natural flow, your natural rhythm. This can talk about like writing or hmm, there's something about like like words, needing to express your words or needing to find some sort of outlet that can help relieve you of this i don't know there's the, a the frog coming out is showing that there's these emotions or there's this energy that's been kind of like built up within you and so you needing to find an outlet like even crying like <laughs> i'm a scorpio rising i don't know what the hell has been going on i'm just sensitive in general but like the last couple of days I've been hella sensitive. <laughs> I've been super sensitive, super emotional. But and for like not really anything specific, but just gotta let it out, right? Whatever emotions come up, whether they're happy emotions, whether they're heavier emotions, um, needing to just let it out, express it, talk to someone, or finding an outlet, whether it be like a physical outlet or just like, you know, doing some sort of project or just like there's a need for you to cleanse and detox and clarify and just get it out of your system, okay? Get it out of your system. And some of you guys have been resisting that, going back to the fish. It's like there's been these emotions coming up, brewing, but like you've been kind of trying to suppress it or ignore it or swim against the current and then it's just creating more frustration. So during September, please feel your feelings. <laughs> feel your feelings. We're heading into eclipse season. It's going to be intense. It might be emotional. It might be... Um, just healing and freeing and 
I also am seeing with the stinger at the bottom of the deck, you do have some important choices to make or there will be some defining decisions about your life path, about the direction you're going, where things are leading. And um, this choice is about the old versus the new. The new, the unexplored path, the uncertain path, or the old, you know it, you've been around this bush before, it's familiar. Is that fulfilling or you know like you're kind of being pulled in two different directions what will you choose what will you choose you might also be dealing with a leo or have leo placements we have the lion at the bottom um underneath the stingray which is kind of showing that whatever you choose is about what you feel the most certain about what you feel the most confident about um i'm seeing here that you're making choices that enhance this confidence within you some of you you're stepping into some sort of like leadership role or teaching role or like a guide of some sort or like hmm just gaining a lot more respect respect for yourself others are respecting you and admiring you and appreciating you and your efforts but the hyenas underneath that can show a little bit of irritation or built up frustration or i think this could just be relating to patience because the wolf is also underneath that like there's some things you're having to organize get clear time management um, some of y'all have been like procrastinating, which I totally get because I do that too. <laughs> I fucking do that too. Um, okay, so it's, it looks like so far, taking a look into September, it could be a bit of an emotional time where just feels just a lot of deep contemplation about life, where you're going. You might be having a change in heart. Um, need to just honor these emotions, honor these feelings, let them out. You may be feeling extra sensitive this month, so just be kind to yourself don't give yourself a hard time there are also things being like mirrored back to you or reflected back to you so that might be making you feel some type of way okay what's going on for scorpio what do my scorpios need to know look out for be aware of during the month of september scorpio sun moon rising venus what's happening for my scorpios in september 2024 show me clearly what's happening we got 10 of pentacles as your first card out at the bottom we do have death signifying that this structure this stability this this place in your life this could be hmm let me i'm gonna have to this this is something that's deeply established okay there's something that's been really long in the works it's been established for quite some time it's showing that something that you've invested a lot of time energy money emotions this could be family stuff this could be your job this could be where you'll live but it's something you've invested a lot into it's showing that there's something that's changing in regards to this there's big shifts taking place and maybe you're not sure how you feel about it at the moment or you know that there's certain changes you need to make within this foundation or family or situation and you're not quite you know that you're kind of on the fence about this or let's see death the two of swords yeah yeah kind of what i was feeling scorpio your energy is showing up here with a death card so it's like some of you have well you know you haven't made this choice just yet because whatever this choice is it's going to change your life but i'm feeling like by like september you're probably going to make up your mind or you could be overthinking something or you're in your head showing the two of swords and the nine of swords like you're fearful of making the wrong choice or let's see there could be something about your perception, how you're being perceived, as well as how people view you at this time, or you might be worrying about, like, pressure of, like, the external world. And that's kind of what the stingray did talk about. That's at the bottom of the animal deck, which it can talk about, like, this choice. You're feeling the pressure from friends, family, society. But what do you want, Scorpio? What's going to fulfill you? What's going to bring you to your most, like, happiest life, happiest path? I mean, I love the Ten of Pentacles. It is showing here that there is stability, there is abundance, there is like an increase in your money, your pay. But there will be some changes. There will definitely be some changes. Depending on the choices that you make, right? So let's keep going. What's going on with Scorpio in the month of September? What do my Scorpios need to know? Seven of Pentacles, yeah, seven, seven of Pentacles in death. See, death was meant to come out. Y'all see, and I shuffle the deck. This is expected. These changes that are taking place, it's, 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 it's expected. It's not really a surprise to you. You've known it. You've been anticipating this. You've been preparing yourself from this for this. Um, 
and I'm noticing, right, we go from the Ten of Pentacles to the Seven, so there is a bit of backtracking or reconsidering where you're putting your energy and where you're investing your time, money, resources, etc., right? So you're taking a, taking a little look-see at this situation, which we can clarify this Ten of Pentacles, get a little bit more specific what this is. Should I do that now? Yes. <laughs> Let's do that now so that it makes more sense as I'm doing this reading. Otherwise, I'm like, what am I talking about? Ten of Pentacles for Scorpio. Can you tell me what this Ten of Pentacles is? Because it's, it's something in your life that's part of your day-to-day -day routine or reality or it's something that's deeply established. But, like, can you tell us a little bit more about this? Tell this Ten of Pentacles for Scorpio. You have the Emperor. So you have a lot of responsibility. So your responsibilities about this is changing. Queen of Swords and the Ace of Wands. I'm seeing something new is being offered your way. Or there's a new path here that you could be considering going down or pursuing or launching. Or this could be a business pursuit. This could be a personal endeavor regarding, you know, some sort of goal of yours in, in your finances. I, some of you, it's your health. But I love that Emperor is there because it's showing here that you are in full control of your reality. And this could actually be about you building your empire. Like, perhaps this is about you launching your own business. Or if you're working for yourself. Or you're an entrepreneur. Or, you know, you're wanting to put yourself out there. And I do see that this could be very successful for you. You are needing to be tactful here. And practical. Okay? Planning attention to detail is everything um there's no need for like shortcuts or trying to rush through this and mercury retrograde was teaching us that um mercury retrograde is basically going to be over by september we'll have our post shadow but that won't really linger too much so this is time to take action and i see that's what you're doing there's a new path i feel that's available to you power and maybe this is sudden maybe this is kind of a surprise or maybe this was I mean, you, you were expecting change. Seven of Pentacles and Death. Definitely you were expecting some kind of change. But perhaps this was sooner than expected. Or let me see. Tower and the King of Swords. And the Ten of Wands. It's showing that you've been carrying too much. Or your hands have been full. Or something had to be removed. There's something you had to let go. Or something you had to release. Oh, shit. Look at how that tower... It literally flipped out of my hand into the reverse. So it's like, for again, again, some of y'all were resisting this or really like, like dragging your feet. Anyways, okay. And so what is this change? Look, the tower trying to fall out again. I see you, tower, Scorpio energy. And so this change, what exactly is this? Kind of death. So it looks like there's a new path that becomes available for you, Scorpio. Um... It's lighter. It's right. We go from the Ten of Wands to the Ace of Wands. So it's showing that from feeling really full, like heavy, your hands, you can't carry anymore, to then suddenly that coming to a close or you're releasing, you're creating space. And now there's like this new path or there's this, you have more time, you have more freedom. So what's death all about for Scorpio? Okay, and it goes back to the Two of Swords. Remember, remember, really, like, at the very beginning, when we had the Ten of Pentacles and Death was at the bottom, underneath Death was the Two of Swords. It's literally saying and showing the choices that you're making in September is what's creating this change. A certain choice that you've made, or you will be making, um, leading up to eclipse season as well, and just certain lessons that you've been learning, and really doing what's fair, doing what's right, bringing you justice. It's like king of wands yeah you're like i see you taking some sort of action here scorpio you're deciding on something and you're sticking to it you're committed to it look whoa the star seven of wands and the five of swords I see you healing from some significant things that really hmm I'm, well it brought you closer to I'm hearing, I'm hearing it brought you closer to God, or I'm hearing like it brought you closer to yourself, or like something good in your life. Like there was this huge epiphany or this huge realization through some sort of distortion, or not distortion, well, something was maybe distorted. Maybe that's that seven of, seven of cups. But there was this like destructive 
energy pattern person thing that was just not serving you all right and so hmm you see things exactly as they are it's very clear I don't know, you're, you're healing, you're moving forwards, so you're taking action, you're making moves, and you're determined to go after some sort of dream, and it requires you to, like, leave certain things behind. That Five of Swords, you had to leave it behind. Um, there has been some sort of loss. It has been also challenging. Fives in general, significant change. Okay, but, like, this, so this is expected, and you're expecting this, or you're expecting when you make this choice, or when you, you know, you set this goal... Like, you're not going to backtrack, you're going to stand your ground, and you're not going to... you like, you're, once you've set your mind on something, it's not going to sway, or it's not going to change. And you're actually quite happy with that. Or I feel like you will be happy with the choices that you're making. Um, okay, so Seven of Pentacles, let's just keep going. What's going on for Scorpio in September? Oh, did we have a car flip out? High Priestess. Oh my god, this deck is talking so much. High Priestess, Pisces. Your intuition is leading you this entire time. It's on point. You know, more is going to be revealed to you as September unfolds. But honestly, it's like you've seen this playing out in your dreams, in your mind's eye, like, you, you're not surprised by these changes, or by these shifts, or by what's going on around you, it's not surprising you at all, like, this is exactly going according to your plan, or what you had felt all along, yeah, it's like, your higher self was guiding you this entire time, which, that's so true, like, it literally always is, um, and you're getting clues, and you're going to continue to get clues, hints, significant, like, messages that are steering you in this path to follow through. And, like, it's just, it's just helping you so much when it comes to trusting your inner knowing, because it has never led you down the wrong path. And if it has in the, in the past, if it has, because I, I just heard, like, yes, it has, like, well, then maybe that wasn't your intuition, maybe you doubted your intuition, and you, you mistaked it for something else, right, you got in your own way, you were resisting what deep down your core was warning you about, so see, but you went through that to now strengthen that intuition, now you know, right, now you know, so that's what matters, um, moving forwards, you have something new coming in, we have the fool at the bottom, okay, so, this is expected, this new chapter, this new beginning. You will be asked to take a leap of faith. You'll know when the time is right, though, High Priestess. You'll know when the right time it is for you to jump off this cliff. <laughs> so if you're right now you're like, hell no, I'm not ready, then don't do it. You'll know when you're ready. Your intuition will give you clear green lights when it's time to initiate this, to make this move to do this thing to choose this path like whatever this is <laughs> you'll know in the moment you'll know when the time is right so if it's not now give it a little bit more time y'all give it a little bit more time but if you're ready then go for it um so we have the fool okay we have the three of swords underneath that also the devil you do need to be careful what you're getting involved in or what you're jumping into because honestly the way this is looking with the fool to the three of swords and then the devil some of you are some of you your intuition could be giving you a, a warning. We were just talking about that. I was like, your intuition will lead you down the wrong path. You know what will lead you down the wrong path? By you ignoring your intuition and ignoring the signs or closing your eyes, blocking your ears, la 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 la. Because seriously, <laughs> some of you, I just gotta give you a heads up. I just gotta warn you that there might be some things that you jump into that could end up being a little crazy a little disastrous or painful or like let me see oh my god be wise yeah look be wise wise one be on the lookout wise one hang men know what you're getting involved you're gonna there's some things that you might want to consider before 
jumping right on into or rushing right on into hangman four of wands eight of wands you're gonna some of y'all it's like again four of wands and eight of wands that's quick pace energy that's like really very fast and it's also talking about like multiple things coming in all at once it's like don't be rushed don't let anybody pressure you or try to rush you um because it feels like it's not going to be in your best intention. So just just watch out. You're going to have plenty of new doors, new opportunities that become available to you. It's going about you using your discernment, using your intuition, using that strong, higher knowing, your experiences that you've gone through, and being able to determine when it is the right time to jump. Because you jump at the wrong time or you ignore your intuition you might jump into a situation that could potentially hurt you you know so just use your wisdom trust yourself it's okay if you're on the fence about it you're probably feeling that way for a reason if you're having some sort of hesitation listen to that listen to that hesitation what's your intuition trying to tell you let's look into that i'm gonna switch decks let me see here what's scorpio's intuition telling him yeah high priestess why is the High Priestess here for Scorpio? What's Scorpio's intuition telling them here? Yeah, so, honestly, okay, hold on. <laughs> I was going to talk more about the Animal Cards. So I'm like, let me just clarify this. High Priestess for Scorpio. Justice, Wheel of Fortune. Six of Swords. It's kind of just saying what I just said, y'all. I'm going to be repeating myself. You're going to get tired of me saying the same old thing. Um, all right. We have Temperance as well. So Sagittarius as well as Libra Energy. I see we have the Knight of Cups at the bottom of the deck. I'll talk about it with the Six of Swords. So clarifying the High Priestess. Like, what's your intuition telling you? Was my question here. Well, your intuition is telling you when, when the right time is to jump, to initiate, to go after, to take action. You're going to know right then and there in your core in your gut if you don't feel that it's not for you trust it don't force anything right now this is not the time to force jack shit <laughs> okay um again just moving with intention remove being patient too with the process because things are coming together quite nicely and some of you guys well we have the Knight of Cups at the bottom. Some of you guys have a love situation or a love offer, a love proposal coming your way. And it may come from multiple individuals. You might, if you're dealing with multiple, if you're single or whatever, or maybe not. We have a Knight of Cups, a King of Cups, a Chariot, Cancerian Energy, Ace of Cups. I mean, like, seriously, you got plenty of offers coming on in. Watch out of people that, well... Yeah, just people that rush you. Just be mindful of anybody that tries to, like, overstep boundaries or push you. I see that there, you do have some real good people that are interested in you. You definitely have... Hmm, okay, Chariot and the Ace of Cups. You just gotta watch out of, like, things moving too quickly. Or, like, jumping the gun and rushing on in. Typically, like, things that start quick and just as quick. So just watch out for that. Because underneath the Ace of Cups, we have the the Empress Reverse, which shows that there could be a block when it comes to some sort of growth or things just reaching a dead end. Like it's going good, it's going good, it's going good, and then it just goes to a stalemate. So watch out for that. Um, so that's kind of going back to the Fool, the Three of Swords, and the Devils. Just like watch out, know what you're getting involved in, know who you're <laughs> getting involved with. Um and don't be don't be pressured don't be rushed like trust your intuition and the vibes the energy because the vibes don't lie so really be patient during this time during this process um find your flow find your rhythm and don't let anybody get you out of your zone okay tell me more what's going on for scorpio sun moon rising venus in september 2024 what do my scorpios need to know look out for or be aware of during this time yeah hangman and the four of wands yeah like there's some there's some things you need to reconsider we have judgment sticking out right here we also have the five of pentacles at the bottom let me see judgment it is judgment the world also three of pentacles 
so i'm seeing that there's like some cycles closing out some cycles here that maybe are incomplete or you got some unfinished business but anyways let's just talk about this cards these cards that came out hangman and the four of wands hangman is all about seeing things from a different perspective seeing things clearly taking time out for introspection reflection and honestly just like letting things be and not really doing too much not really like i don't it's kind of saying not to take too much action all at once or just like do a little bit and then see what happens or like talking about connections here we have the four of wands so there's certain connections that need to be you you need to observe people's actions or what they're saying versus what they're doing are they showing up consistently are they supportive of you normally the four of wands is a supportive energy it does talk about like great partnerships it does talk about support celebration and like moving in the right direction just make sure that whoever is around you supports you you need to be around people that are open-minded or people that are willing to also put themselves in your shoes right here you are you're like imagining okay well this is how i'd feel if i was this person like you're you know trying to see things from other people's perspectives make sure that you're surrounding yourself with people that do the same or like consider you and your feelings consideration is so important when it comes to all kinds of relationships connections friendships romance etc like you know you want to be considerate of others others should be considerate of you there needs to be that flow that balance and that respect that respect ain't there what the hell are you doing <laughs> so you know just some things that you need to consider and then the fact that we have the five of pentacles at the bottom so some of y'all is like this is talking about people that you're at a distance with or people that you're not really speaking to or you're kind of you might be feeling ignored by some people or some people feel ignored by you there could be things about ghosting whether you ghosted someone or someone's ghosted you let me look at this five of pentacles ace of swords and the two of pentacles so you might be contemplating or someone's contemplating whether or not they should like say something or communicate something or somebody is on the fence about like what's the truth of the matter or, like huh okay there may be an opportunity to break some sort of silence you might be doing that someone might be doing that towards you um but yeah you are going to be getting clarity on a lot of things this month um anything else you can tell scorpio seven of swords oh and look what's at the bottom the devil this fell on top of the seven of pentacles okay so there's some players in the game or there's some players in the mix there are some people here that you already are aware of there's some people right we're, we're talking about some of these connections here uh, that have already made you hmm I guess a little suspicious or a little bit like, huh, I see you. I'm going to keep my eye on you. Um, something in my gut is giving me this nudge or giving me this feeling something's up here. And so you're going to kind of observe, give it a little bit of time because things, things are definitely going to get revealed to you, right? If somebody has hidden agenda or hidden intentions first of all your intuition's already giving you the signs or you're already getting like pay attention to your dreams y'all <laughs> dreams i know we don't really have cards indicating that here well hangman can sometimes talk about that um or like even meditation things like that but like dreams they can reveal a lot especially if you've been having a lot of vivid dreams or suddenly people are showing up in your dreams it's giving you clues it's giving you clues on who may not be the best towards you or have best intentions towards you so keep that out keep your eyes peeled <laughs> keep looking out for that what the hell am i saying my words are all messed up today um i kind of been getting this vibe like you are like 10 steps ahead of some of these individuals just the way the seven of pentacles to the seven of swords like you kind of expect this you see this coming you saw this coming as someone corrected me last week <laughs> all right so again like it's kind of similar vibes from last week's reading. If I, if I'm, was that your reading? I think it was your reading. We have the Devil at the bottom, the Three of Cups, and the King of Pentacles. There is a 
person here who's a lot of fun to be around. Three of Cups, they're so much fun to be around. I don't know if they're the best influence. Three of Cups and the Devil. I would also just throw this out there in case this might be for someone. Just watch out of like their party situations. It doesn't even have to be about a person. I could literally talk about like substances or fucking whatever. Someone's work also getting in the way or um even like burnout or just like unhealthy coping mechanisms like fuck there's so many different ways we could take this but th this is clarifying or this is at the bottom of the deck with the seven of swords so this feels a little sneaky because normally normally the king of pentacles is somebody that's trustworthy someone who is reliable someone who shows up they are supportive they are a team player they provide they're you know they're just a solid person inside and out very down to earth but eight of swords underneath that which is like if oh and the five wands it's like there could be something telling you like i don't really trust this person or this person although they seem great on the outside you know they're they seem to be fun or there's something this nagging feeling that you're kind of going back and forth about and you're like am i just in my head am i just being dramatic am i just being like but you're feeling that for a reason you feeling that for a reason so i mean you're gonna just honestly i feel like let people let people reveal themselves to you you don't i feel like kind of so far i mean i'm gonna wrap up your reading i can't fucking speak scorpio i feel basically for this reading for september it's saying things are kind of up in the air you're needing to really like observe you don't need to do too much just kind of keep focusing on you but you are needing to take a step back and reconsider and also listen to what your intuition is telling you because there's certain individuals or certain people that are making you feel some type of way or your intuition is like ding 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 giving you like a warning or kind of like nudging you hmm and you need to trust that instinct hey it's coming up for a reason um yeah so be 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 cautious i guess be careful um and then going back to the animal cards right you might be kind of feeling a little bit like unsure of these individuals right unsure of this direction unsure of this path unsure of who to trust the swan again more of that reflection kind of feel your way through feel your emotions could be a very sensitive time and then the frog is just like and just like let it out right and also pay attention to who is there for you when you're at your lowest because sometimes a frog can talk about like you know some heavy emotional times or you might be going through some loss or you might be feeling burnt out or just really really kind of low and so pay attention to who's there for you versus who isn't who's checking up on you and seeing how you're doing versus who isn't that will reveal a lot so yeah not a whole lot that you need to do at least at this moment keep doing you and a lot is going to be revealed over these next couple of weeks come back to this reading by the end of september i'd love to hear you know what initial thoughts comment down below your initial thoughts feelings how you're doing so far um how this virgo season is treating you and then if you remember because <laughs> i know i don't even remember what i was doing like two days ago like fuck but if you remember come back to this at the end of September or even October and see how this might resonate or what maybe you found out or what things got revealed to you during this month. I would love to hear. So keep me updated. Um, leave a like, comment, subscribe. Private readings are available in the description box down below. So send an email if you're interested and I will talk to you in your next reading, Scorpio. Have an amazing day. Bye.